Well, is it fungal acne or is it closed comedones? How do we know? Hey everyone, it's Unique. Welcome back to my channel. And you are probably struggling with the question of whether it's fungal acne or closed comedones. And don't worry, you're in the right place because by the end of this video, you are going to know exactly what you are dealing with. Your forehead or face is covered in tiny bumps and texture. And you're seeing all over YouTube and TikTok all this talk about fungal acne. I mean, even this channel talks about fungal acne. But how do you know if that's what you're truly dealing with? Because closed comedones can also look like fungal acne. And it's really hard to determine between both if you've never experienced it for yourself. I mean, even dermatologists misdiagnose fungal acne all the time. It's a very common thing to happen. And if you don't have access to a dermatologist, searching Google can have you more confused than ever especially now that the rise of information on fungal acne has exploded it seems like overnight so we're going to get down to the nitty-gritty so you can finally determine if you have fungal acne or closed comedone so you can get to the good part getting rid of it the first thing we need to do is look and see what your tiny bumps actually look like if those tiny bumps are red to dark they're itchy they get worse when you sweat they're pretty much the same size and they're all clustered together in one specific area you see them on your forehead your around your hairline your cheeks your chin underneath an area where you're wearing your face covering congratulations you have fungal acne. And I'm only saying congratulations because we know exactly how to treat and get rid of fungal acne. So yes, you have fungal acne, do not despair. We are gonna talk about exactly how you can treat them. But if your tiny bumps don't really have a uniform look to them, they're quite close to the color of your skin tone, they don't itch, they kind of look like whiteheads, but they're not filled with pus, so you can't pop them. They look like they exist under your skin, not coming completely through, like uh, similar to a blackhead would. If you are more prone to oily skin, if you have other types of acne like blackheads or pus-filled whiteheads in that same area, you are probably dealing with closed comedones. Closed comedones usually form as a result of using a product, either hair care, skin care, body care on that area that acted like an occlusive which means that it's effectively irritating and closing off your pores and thus you have closed comedones okay that's out the way now we know which one you're dealing with so let's get on to the good stuff how to treat it. Now it's important to figure out exactly what you're dealing with before you start treating it because if you treat closed comedones as if they're fungal acne, you'll make closed comedones worse and vice versa. If you treat fungal acne as if it's closed comedones, girl that fungal acne is going to live it up on your face. <laughs> That's not what we want to do. They cannot be treated by the same products and there's different tactics and techniques for treating both of them. What we use to treat fungal acne could dry and irritate your skin if you do not have fungal acne, which is only going to make your closed comedones worse. It's just going to cause them to act up, sweetie, and we don't want that. So if you have determined that your acne is in fact closed comedones, this is what we need to do in order to get rid of those pesky bumps. First, you have to switch out your products so that you're only using products that will not clog your pores. These products are usually labeled as non-comedogenic because obviously you already have an issue with clogged pores. You don't want to exacerbate that problem. So first things first, ditch those products. Stop using occlusives for now. Stop using products that can clog your pores and let's stick to those that are less likely to clog your pores, which means they're less likely to lead to breakouts. Next, I want you to start with one treatment. Do you hear me? One. I'm about to give you a list of options. I need you to start with one <laughs> option. Do you understand? Because if you choose too many treatments, you can burn your skin by just doing too much. And it's easier to burn your skin than you think, okay? All of these treatments are pretty strong. So if you mix and match them or try and throw it all at your face at one time, your skin's not used to it. It's going to be too strong. You can effectively give yourself a chemical peel and you're not a professional. Chemical peels are not for us to do at home, ever at home. And they can lead to hyperpigmentation and other issues 
that's worse than close comedone. So don't do it. Don't do it. Choose one. Slow and consistency will get you the results that you want effectively and safely versus fast and rushed and everything all at once, which can do some major damage. Don't rush it, y'all. Choose one. One. Here's the list of treatment options, but I want you guys to watch to the end because we're gonna go through each treatment option and I'm going to give you a product that I like and also tell you which one is my favorite way to go as we go through the list and break down each one. The first one that we're gonna talk about is the leave-on treatment. The leave-on treatment that I use practically all over my body is Paula's Choice 2% BHA treatment. It is gold, hands down, gold i talked about it in my treating kp strawberry legs video if you haven't seen that one i'll link it in the cards and down below in the description box if you're trying to get smooth soft legs that's the video that you want to watch but i talked about the polish choice two percent bha treatment in that video and this is great great option if you're dealing with close comedones because like I said it is a leave on exfoliant so that it can work on unclogging those pores by shedding that dead skin but it's going to do it in a way that is slow and steady and because it's a leave on treatment you can apply it and move on about your day let it do its work if you're going to use this treatment you have to use sunscreen you have to use sunscreen a chemical exfoliants do make your skin more sensitive to the sun and the sun does not just mean hyperpigmentation it can lead to aging you faster because of the sun rays and the free radicals that it can cause in your skin so don't just think about the sun in terms of dark spots it's a total package wear your sunscreen period another way to go about this is using an exfoliating mask the pumpkin enzyme mask by nola skin essentials is perfect for this because it uses glycolic acid which is another type of exfoliant it is in a mask form which means that it's more concentrated than a leave-on treatment so you would do this one to two times a week that's it that's it that's all one to two times a week you hear me again okay but the beautiful thing about this mask is that it also brightens the face rejuvenates the face gives you a really good glow it's amazing and it smells good but don't eat it don't do that the third treatment is the benzoyl peroxide benzoyl peroxide is a tried and true acne treatment i mean it is heavily researched you can probably find a scientific study on them treating acne any type of acne with benzoyl peroxide it is just really researched tried and true my favorite product for benzoyl peroxide is asepsia cream y'all have heard about this before on my other videos it's strictly benzoyl peroxide at 10% strength. This is another leave-on type of cream that you can apply to your skin and let it do its work overnight. You don't have to rinse it off and it is a strong treatment. So again, do not overuse it. This is not something that you want to go ahead and start applying to your skin two to three times a day every single day. You want to work up usage. So first start off with maybe once every other day and then start incorporating it into your routine every night and then maybe every morning and every night just take it slow take it slow because benzoyl peroxide can be very drying and irritating if you cross the threshold and your skin starts to be more drier than usual it's time to back up off of it and start really focusing on hydrating your skin with hyaluronic acid alpha arbutin and start rehydrating your skin repair it and then worry about your closed comedones again take it slow lastly while all of these products are very effective this is my favorite product recommendation and it is the Paula's Choice antioxidant pore purifier and no I'm not sponsored by Paula but hey Paula you can and let me tell you why not only does it contain salicylic acid which is one of the main ingredients that we talked about earlier it is packed with such great ingredients from antioxidants, vitamin C, niacinamide. It also has azelaic acid, which is not only going to gently exfoliate your skin, but azelaic acid has been scientifically proven to prevent new comedones from forming. 
Now I can definitely tell you to go and just buy azelaic acid, but azelaic acid in this formulation is amazing because you're getting a serum that is jam-packed of such great ingredients. It's just a one step and done type of thing. You don't have to worry about applying a vitamin C for brightness and then layering on a niacinamide to give you that even texture that you're looking for. You have it all in this serum. The ingredients list speaks for itself. And if that wasn't enough, it's amazing for sensitive skin and hyperpigmentation. I am so excited, but also sad because if you have fungal acne, we can't use this product. If you're only dealing with closed chromosomes, I would highly suggest that you give this one a look. I just, I mean, the ingredients list, it just speaks for itself. It speaks for itself. The only thing you have to worry about is then a moisturizer and sunscreen because again, you need your sunscreen. Don't leave the house without it. Don't be in the house without it. That's how important sunscreen is, okay? Because all of this that you're applying to your skin is not going to be nearly as effective as when you're applying sunscreen on top of it and then reapplying during the day. I'm just saying. Moving right along, if you have determined that you have fungal acne, none of the products that I mentioned above will work for you. Unfortunately, they would only feed the beast that is on your face. So I want you to go ahead and watch this video next because I dive in great details exactly what I did and at this point, hundreds of us have done to clear up the fungal acne in as little as two weeks. Make sure to like if you like this one, subscribe, and I will see you over there.